Welcome back to the channel, Cooking with Manual Focus. I know you've seen that thumbnail. Today, we're gonna be making a rotisserie chicken. And I'm telling you, man, it's gonna be delicious. And I can't wait for it to come out of this air fryer. Hey, man, let's go down to the workstation and see what we got. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started, man. I got me a red onion here, and we're just gonna slice it, man, so it doesn't have to be pretty. So we're just slicing this red onion. So we're gonna use this onion to stuff inside of the rotisserie. Got us a fresh lemon. Now this is an organic lemon right here, man. You can see how big it is. But again, we just slicing it. Don't really matter how it looks. We're gonna use this to stuff the rotisserie. Now I got some olive oil here. We got some light brown sugar and we got some liquid smoke. So I'm gonna put these ingredients down in the description below. So if you wanna follow through and make this rotisserie just like I did, you can definitely do it. And you know what I'm saying? I'm just mixing this um, mixture up here. And again, you know, oil and water don't really mix, but you know, I just want to kind of do this all in one step when we get to seasoning the chicken. Now, I'm taking off the excess fat and skin from the bottom side of the chicken. So I recommend that you do that, but you can leave that if you like, but I'm just gonna go ahead and trim that fat right there. All right, so after we got this fat trimmed right, so we're gonna pat this and get that excess moisture off that chicken. And we're gonna do this front and back. So again, when we um, start putting that olive oil on there and our seasoning, then we just want that olive oil and season, seasoning to be what's on that chicken. So there we go with our olive oil, our brown sugar and liquid smoke mixture again, because it's, you know, just like oil and water don't wanna mix, but hey, that's no problem. So what you wanna do, is massage that chicken you know front side and then you're going to repeat those steps on the back side so i really want to get again that you know that smoky flavor and that brown sugar in there and then that that olive oil is going to act as a binding you know ingredient for that lick that for that usual that we're putting on right now so that's what i'm hitting it with is my all-purpose seasoning the usual and you can use whatever rub that you want all-purpose seasoning that you want just make sure when you start seasoning you see me here i'm just rubbing it into the chicken and then make sure you get in the undercarriage of those wings and then underneath those legs too so you want to make sure every piece of that chicken is well seasoned and you see me right there getting underneath those wings man so it's no part of that chicken that doesn't you know have that flavor when we're cooking it in that rotisserie All right, so that looks about right. So now you wanna get yourself some twine, some baker's twine, and then tie this chicken up. However you tie it up, I mean, you know, do what you're comfortable with. You know, this is my first time doing a rotisserie. So, you know, I tried to, you know, do my way. And um, you can see later on in the video, I had to go back and retie it um, because it wasn't tight enough. But again, you wanna make sure that your rotisserie is tight. So when it starts, you know, in that rotisserie mode and turning you don't want it to be flopping everywhere and then you know come undone while it's in your air fryer so you want to make sure that you're especially with your legs that is tight and right so practice with it man i mean as you you make more rotisseries practice will make perfect and you'll definitely get it so make sure you tie that chicken down real good now this was a five 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 and a half pound chicken so that was a big boy right there so you know had a little fight with it and as you see again you want to make sure that your your wings are nice and and tight because you want to you don't want to burn those those wing tips but you want to cook even also with those legs so you see me right there just getting it nice and tight and then, you know, making it ready for that rotisserie. Now, what I'm doing is just taking those lemons and those onions 
and that rosemary that I had and I'm just stuffing the inside of that chicken you know just creating some some flavor profiles so when it starts turning it and you know that heat activates those ingredients inside man so you got some flavor working from the inside and then you got the outside flavor too and then with the rest of the um the olive oil and the liquid smoke and brown sugar i'm just adding that inside of that rotisserie so now here was my first attempt with this bad boy again this is a five and a half pound chicken so this is bigger than the usual um some people normally go with a three to four pound chicken but when i was at the grocery store you know i seen that bad boy i knew i was hungry and they always say man don't shop when you're hungry but i was hungry man and i seen that bad boy and i knew it was gonna come out right you know once i got it right so again you see me right here um, i'm gonna take it back out because you know i didn't like the way the legs was positioned in there so i'm just gonna tighten it back up so to make sure that i got that you know that rotating chicken that i need so when it's in there i don't have to come back and you know fool with it again so again make sure those legs are super tight so you can get even cooking and that is good to go once you put it in the air fryer and like i said after you practice with it a little bit i mean you'll definitely get it down man practice makes perfect you know your first couple times you might you know fail but hey that's why you you work at it man and you definitely get it so here it is man second attempt going back into the air fryer practice makes perfect right all right we got it in there so setting it in there make sure that your your rotisserie is on that gear so it definitely turn around so now what we're going to do now is put it on 375 degrees and then we're going to take it for an hour right because again that's a big boy that we got in there we want to make sure that it's thoroughly cooked so we're going to do it 375 degrees for an hour and you can see it right here look at that bad boy just doing this thing man turning so all right our hours up let's take this bad boy out and, and again look at them juices in the bottom man come on man like i said man let's make some gravy with that right so you see that right there that's your rotisserie and we're just gonna take off those um that baker's swine and get it unwrapped and then there you have it man you're gonna start carving that thing up let it rest just a little bit serve it and it's ready to go man rotisserie in the air fryer hey by the way make sure that you um you check those um temperatures in there you want to make sure it's hitting at 165 degrees all right so we got that bad boy out the air fryer we done carved it up a little bit so you can see how juicy it is and i'm about to go ahead and take a bite out of this bad boy so i like those wings right you see that right there look at that man look at that Ooh wee you see that mm. Mm. Look at that. Woo -wee. That's some good flavor right there. Mm. That's delicious, man. Mm. I tell you, man, that's delicious flavor there. That's what you want, man. And a rotisserie chicken can't beat that flavor. I appreciate you guys watching tuning in thank you for your subscribers man if you're new to this channel man smash that subscribe button and give me a like man hit me in those comments man because i'm about to go and smash the rest of this rotisserie chicken and give some to the kids man peace you know, those juices right there from that rotisserie you can tell that was done right look at that right there gotta have it mm, carved up look at that tender breast meat right there look at that and that crust Ooh -wee. Mm. Mm -mm -mm.